Hi, I'm Phyllis from iSoul and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm I'm here with my 15th block. 12 inches. They're all 12 inches. They're all different. And I'm using up scraps to make them. When I When I do them, I'm going to make a black edge around it and then a border or sashing in between them. And that way they all stand out as a, a block on its own. So 15 is going to be, I mean 30 is going to be lots because I was thinking 42. But no, uh, with the sashing and everything, it's going to be too large of a quilt. So this is going to be a large enough with a with my 12 inch blocks and my sashing. Anyway, it's made up. This block is. Well, before I go on, I'm going to ask you to subscribe and touch the bell to be notified when you get it, when I put another video out, so you don't miss any. Um, and leave me a comment, thumbs up, if you found, you like the videos. And I would love to get to a thousand subscribers by my birthday, which is December the 14th. So we'll see. Just, just give me some subscribe. Just subscribe. <laughs> I'm about 135 off now. So I could do it, or we could do it, if you just subscribe. Anyway, this block is made up of half square triangle, four half square triangles, a light and a dark, and there's one in each corner. And a center square, which is four and a half inches. And some four patches, four four patches, and they're made up with two and a half inch squares. So a light and a dark, and a light and a dark. So that's how I'm making up this block. And uh, I'll show you how it goes together. some threads here. So there's my four patch, which goes in the center. And then my half square triangles. And they form a hexagon when it's all together. You can see in the light. So then I sew these two seams together. And then I start here and I want my darks to go this way and my lights to go this way. Then I put a four and a half inch plain fabric. I'm using the same as I did out here. And another four and a four four patch. So then I sew these together and sew across here. This will come down and sew. And then this one no nope, goes this way. I'm cutting my corners off with my light colors so that will shape my hexagon. 
and then I want my darks to go this way. And that is how I put my block together. So when you break them down to four patches and half square triangles and plain squares, it's pretty easy to put these quilt blocks together. You look at some of them and they look so complicated, but then when you take each section by itself, they're really quite easy to go together. And this is number 15. I am planning on making, I had started out thinking 42, but now I got looking at it and I thought, no, it's going to be too way too big with sashing in between. So I'm going with 30 blocks. So five across and six down with about three inch sashing between each block. I want to put a dark, a dark um, color all the way around each block, about three quarters of an inch maybe and then a, a lighter colored sashing. So each block will stand out on its own as opposed to blending in with the whole quilt. Anyway, it'll give, the, it'll give you a place to set your eye, to relax your eye a little bit as opposed to being too busy. So thanks for watching and bye now.